Today is a very special day. Yes, it is. We're going to the cemetery. A haunted cemetery. Yeah, I don't really think it's that haunted. The internet said it was haunted. Well, it must be true that... Yes. There are vampires and ghosts. And we will be taking you to this great cemetery today. This is insane. I can't describe how big this is. It's giant. The GPS runs around and goes crazy here. It's intense. Tuong Cemetery, Australia. A burial ground, covering some 250 acres, a staggering number of corpses, totalling over 120,000. Initially established as a penal colony, before being repurposed as a gravesite. The Ghosts of Tawong Cemetery Dating back to 1866, Tawong Cemetery has amassed a number of sinister tales. One rather morbid legend takes place at the appropriately named Spook Hill. Journeying within the cemetery to Avenue 12, there lies supposedly two sisters buried together atop of a grassy ridge. It is rumoured that these two sisters were horrifically killed in a car accident. According to legend and individual accounts, their lingering spirits have an apparent strange reaction to cars approaching their gravesite. The story circulating the local area claims that stationary vehicles at the bottom of this hill will slowly rock momentarily before inching forward, somewhat dragged upwards towards the shallow grave. The Vampire of Spook Hill tells the tale of a woman who was buried in the early 1900s According to law, her grave was excavated sometime afterwards and the woman's body exhumed for reasons that are still unclear. Grave diggers were initially met with confusion, then immediately overwhelmed with an immense fear, for the woman's body that should have already begun decomposition was perfectly preserved. Upon inspection of the cold, limp corpse, it was discovered that her blood was unnaturally not caligulated. Her skin was a powdery paste white colour, and protruding from the corners of her pale rose-coloured lips, pursed lifelessly together, were two elongated fang-like incisors. Graveyard records indicate that her body could not be located for reburial after it was moved, and many visitors to this day have strong claims that they have seen the silhouette of a woman with straight, long dark hair covering her face. Witness accounts state that her torso remains motionless, yet her head appears to follow the direction of any unfortunate mortal that lays eyes on her. It is said that she is capable of apparating outside the graveyard, stalking those select few that she has chosen. To unbind her attachment to your soul, you must exit the cemetery from the west and only moments before sun rises. History tells of one local revealing himself only as Mr. Wilson, who made the startling claim that his great-grandfather was one of the prime suspects for being that of Jack the Ripper. Walter Thomas Perriot, now resting at Tawong Cemetery, was known by British police under the name Andrew John Gibson, a self-proclaimed English doctor. But could he have been the infamous Ripper of Yorkshire, 
of whom killed five women during his killing spree, with such insatiable hatred and such expertise in anatomy as this killer did? Mr. Wilson claimed he saw unquestionable evidence in the form of various writings and believed that his great-grandfather's handwriting was identical to that of Jack the Ripper's, based on a letter the killer sent to a London newspaper. Walter Thomas was well educated in anatomy and held a morbid disregard for certain women. As many as 11 victims may have died at the hands of the Ripper, but UK police can only substantiate five, all of whom were women and mutilated to various extents, with the most brutal killing involving a woman's body parts being severed and rearranged. Many female visitors to the Tawong Cemetery claim that when passing by the decrepit grave, they have felt an intense and sharp stabbing pain in the side of their abdomen, the effects of which often last for many hours. To this day, it is still unclear why Walter Thomas suspiciously fled his homeland to settle here, in Australia. <laughs>